Hi, friends. I'm Emily Lay, and you're listening to The Simplified Podcast. If you're looking for a quiet place where you can filter out the noise and the hustle, this is it. Every week, I invite you to slow down and join me to explore practical ways to organize and automate the complicated parts of life so you can focus on what truly matters most. Today, I'm sharing a bit about my wellness journey. If you're looking to make wellness a more intentional part of your life, then Team Simplified designed the new wellness workbook just for you. Our wellness workbook is the perfect partner for your self-care journey, I speak from experience. You can start figuring out which wellness goals matter to you in the prep work section, and then track your progress with weekly and monthly trackers. Plus, you can take notes on what's working for you as you head toward your goals. Don't forget, when you take care of yourself, you'll be able to take care of others as well. You can get your wellness workbook today over at emilylay.com. For the past few years, like so many others, I've been thinking a bit more about what it means to be well, to make choices that help me and my family feel like our best selves while leaving as small a footprint as possible. Like many journeys, it's been a two steps forward, one step back kind of thing. It's taken twists and turns I never saw coming, but right now I feel like I'm in a really good place, and I want to share why. Making the decision to get breast implants was not one I took lightly. After my kids were born, I decided to do something for my body that looked quite different than it did before. Everything was fine until it wasn't. I began experiencing autoimmune issues in the years that followed. The issues were varied, and though some of them added up to thyroid issues, I was diagnosed with both Graves' disease and Hashimoto's, oddly, the rest were unexplainable. I lost hair, had allergic reactions, and felt inflammation everywhere. I did a ton of research to see what could be the issue. Over the years, as I've learned more and more about autoimmune disorders and how closely they're linked to our lifestyle, I noticed that the things I put in and around my body really impact the way I feel. In the last decade, I've been starting to see our conversations about wellness start to include more and more talk about inflammation, too. Have you noticed this? Inflammation itself isn't bad. It's how your body reacts when it's trying to heal itself. The redness, the soreness, the swollenness, that's your body's immune system working overtime to get you well. And for a short time, it's actually really helpful. But too much of a good thing is not a good thing. Did you know that sometimes your body can be inflamed for months or years at a time? At this point, the inflammation you've been experiencing is considered chronic inflammation, and that's when things start to get pretty serious. Chronic inflammation is present in things like gastrointestinal disorders, like inflammatory bowel disease, also known as IBD, lung disease, like asthma, neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's, and autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis or Hashimoto's. The more I read, the more intrigued I became, But the more I researched, the more I kept seeing how our environment plays a huge role in chronic inflammation because of things like environmental chemicals, because the chemicals we encounter in our everyday lives can alter the molecular pathways that affect inflammation, or things like gut health. Your gut health is super important. That's something you've probably been hearing more and more about over the last few years. There's a lot more nuance to it than this, but basically what you feed your gut impacts the microbes that live there. That's what scientists call your microbiome. And that microbiome is so important because it affects what gets broken down in your gut and how it processes and distributes all the nutrients and toxins that you ingest. Also, social and cultural health plays a role in inflammation. It's not surprising that spending time with loved ones plays a huge role in our actual physical health. It releases a flood of good hormones and lowers our stress level, which can also affect inflammation. And I can't say this enough, getting enough sleep, like really good sleep in a nice dark room for a long period of time is one of the most healing things you can do for yourself. Physical activity is also linked to inflammation. You knew this was coming at some point, right? Humans need to move in order to be their healthiest selves. When our skeletal muscles contract, they release proteins that reduce inflammation throughout your body. It's fascinating, right? I took all of this information in and decided I wanted to start making choices to reach for things that felt good for my body. And one of my first steps was one of the biggest. Last year, I made a big wholehearted decision to do what it took to get back to healthy. Under the guidance of an amazing doctor, I had what's called an explant surgery and had my breast implants removed. It has been life-changing in ways I just couldn't believe. 
Working with my doctor and a health coach, I began researching, learning, and eventually removing inflammatory chemicals, products, and foods from many areas of my life. It's been a whole imperfect journey, and I've learned so much, but my overall health and wellness has improved greatly. I hesitated for months to share this story as it's clearly so very personal, but had it not been for other women sharing their complicated health and wellness journeys, even as they relate to body image with me, I'm not sure I would have ever made myself such a priority. I've made a few lifestyle changes that have been really, really helpful to me over the last few years to help me feel like my best self. And so I'm going to share four things that have made a really big impact. Guys, it's May. How did we get here? Your May is probably bananas like mine is, which means keeping up routines is a little more tricky. Luckily, figuring out dinner doesn't have to be, thanks to Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well, and they pack every kit with the fresh organic veggies and high quality proteins you want for your family. Green Chef takes care of the meal planning, the grocery shopping, and even some food prep. We've been in school is almost over mode for the past couple of weeks, and I can't tell you how much time Green Chef has saved me. They take away the what's for dinner question, and that alone is worth its weight in gold. Listen, give me a bowl and I'm a happy girl. It turns out Green Chef has some of the best bowls ever. We've had the sesame ginger shrimp bowl, sriracha tamari beef bowl, and even enchilada spice turkey bowl. Each one is so easy to make, so filling, and so delicious. Get healthy food on the table fast. Save tons of time in the kitchen with Green Chef. Go to greenchef.com slash simplified130 and use code simplified130 to get $130 off plus free shipping. One more time, that's greenchef.com slash simplified130 and use code simplified130 to get $130 off plus free shipping. Green Chef, the number one meal kit for eating well. From curling and straightening to hairspray and overbleaching, we've all done some damage to our hair over the years. In college, did you ever let a friend dye your hair after a breakup and watch your hair turn orange before your very eyes? Just me? Okay, if you're like me and struggle to have longer, thicker hair after years of damage, you've got to give Vegamore a try. Vegamore has transformed my hair and they have something for everyone looking to improve their hair health. The Grow Revitalizing Shampoo and Conditioner Kit creates visibly thicker hair and improves hair from the roots. Just massage the shampoo into your scalp for 60 seconds and then follow up with the conditioner. It's as simple as that. Having Vegamore as my go-to shampoo and conditioner is a game changer for my overall hair health. I straighten my hair almost every day, and since I've started using the Grow Revitalizing Shampoo and Conditioner, my hair feels thicker and stronger, and there's definitely less breakage. I'm not the only one who's happy. 91% of customers have seen visibly thicker hair with Vegamore in just three months. So don't let damage of the past hold your hair back. See your hair's full potential with Vegamore. Go to vegamore.com slash simplified and use code simplified to save 20% on your first order. That's V-E-G-A-M-O-U-R dot com slash simplified, code simplified to save 20%. Vegamore.com slash simplified. Number one, I started working with a health coach. So you guys know I'm interested in health and wellness. I always have been, but I'm not an expert. So I decided to find someone who was an expert in those things and ask for help. And I found a wonderful guide, my health coach, Amy Magdalia. She's Amy Williams, but she's Amy Magdalia over on Instagram. If you're around my Instagram stories at all, I know you've heard me talk about Amy and seen me tag her about a billion times and for good reason. Amy is an expert in nutritional therapy, and she's got tons of resources to help you think about easy swaps for a healthier home and body. She knows how to do this because she's lived it. Amy was a college athlete who earned a scholarship to play softball, and her husband, Nick, is an NFL player. So she knows what it means to have your body performing at a high level. But about nine months after she had her second kid, Amy didn't feel as healthy as she had in the past and decided to see what she could do to fix it. She started researching and swapping for cleaner products and became a bit more intentional about her food choices. And y'all, she saw some changes. Not only did she see her health and energy improve, she saw her families improve as well. Her husband's allergies cleared up, and he performed better on the field. Her kid's stomach issues improved dramatically, and she never looked back. Amy has been a wonderful guide for me. She's given me practical tips and tools for making choices that are helping my family feel like their very best selves. And she's got a ton of free resources and advice over on her Instagram. So 
Go check her out. She'll get you thinking about easy ways to make some healthier swaps in your life. Number two, I started eating with more intention. One of the first things Amy and I tackled was what exactly I needed to be eating to give me personally the most energy. And what I found is that I do really well when I eat lots of lean protein, healthy fats, and lots of veggies. So why is that? Because usually these foods are high in fiber and fiber is so good for you. It keeps you full. It helps your gut. It curbs blood sugar spikes, which causes a ton of issues, especially for me personally. Plus spiking your blood sugar really affects your energy levels and not in a good way. Speaking of, if you want to see what spikes your blood sugar, try wearing a continuous glucose monitor like the one from NutriSense. This content is not sponsored by NutriSense today. They've been a podcast sponsor in the past, just FYI, but I really enjoyed my experience using their product. It's very easy to put on and see in real time how my body is responding to certain foods. If you want a definitive answer on how your body deals with certain foods and how they affect your blood sugar, I really recommend NutriSense. Anyway, you don't need something like NutriSense to determine how you feel after you eat certain foods. Sometimes all it takes is a little intention to listen to your body and record how you're feeling afterward. And all of our bodies are different too. Some people feel better without gluten and grains, and some people tolerate them just fine. Some people can eat traditional dairy milk and cheese and ice cream with no problem, while others do much better with goat's milk or coconut yogurt or ice cream made from cashew milk. Don't knock it till you tried it, by the way. If you want to boost your gut health, products with little fermentation go a long way. Pickle lovers, it's your time to shine. Yogurt is also a good source of natural probiotics here, along with things like kimchi and sauerkraut and drinking kombucha. And taking a probiotic supplement is also a good choice. Honestly, we do a million podcast episodes on food. I know I can't cover all the important parts that nutrition plays in our health in just a few minutes, but these are just a few things I've learned that have been really helpful for me over the last few months. From Mondays to birthdays, your table is where you nourish yourself and your family. That's why Year and Day believes it's worth it to set a table you love. Year and Day gives you everything you need and nothing you don't to set the perfect table. Their curated assortment of high-quality dishes, flatware, and glass was designed to enhance your modern life at home. Not sure what you need for your table? Answer a few questions about how you live and entertain, and Year and Day will customize a complete set for you in just a few clicks. You guys are going to love any piece you get from Year and Day. Every piece is so elegant, and you can tell it's excellent quality. I have the Bud Vase in Daybreak, which is this blush pink color, and it's such a cute piece to hold flowers in or use to fill a bookshelf. I also have the Serving Bowl in Moon, which is this warm off-white color. It works equally great as a centerpiece, holding lemons on my kitchen table, or when I need to toss a salad for dinner. Plus, everything is dishwasher safe. Year and Day is giving my listeners a super special offer. Go to yearandday.com slash simplified and use code simplified to get $25 off your first order of $150 or more, plus free shipping. One more time, get $25 off your first order of $150 or more, plus free shipping with code simplified at yearandday.com slash simplified. This year, I've been trying to eat more foods that come from the ground and not from a box or a wrapper, and I've been feeling so much better. When I'm super busy and still want to get my fruits and veggies in, here's what I do. I'll get out my Nutribullet blender combo and make a smoothie for breakfast or blend up a healthy soup for lunch or whip together some salsa for a spicy snack. You guys, I love my Nutribullet, and the blender combo model I have is super cool because you get a full-size blender and you also get a smaller single-size cup that makes it really easy to whip up a serving just for you. I love it because I can use the smaller cup to make smoothies for me, store them in the fridge for breakfast, and use the blender to make enough butternut squash soup for the whole family. And it doesn't matter what I put into this thing, nuts, spinach, super dense fruits and veggies, whatever, everything comes out silky smooth. No big chunks whatsoever. Plus, I'm saving a ton of money, too. It cost me at least $7 to get a store-bought smoothie, but at home, I figured out it's about $1.60 per smoothie to make a smoothie at home. And I know exactly what's in it. Score for me. Guys, it's never been easier to get you and your family all the fruits and veggies you need. You can try the Nutribullet Blender Combo for yourself. Just go to Nutribullet.com and use promo code SIMPLIFIED for 20% off your order. That's Nutribullet.com and get 20% off your order with code SIMPLIFIED. 
Number three, this is a big one. I got back to moving my body with intention. It is a tale as old as time. Girl gets on a Peloton. Girl loves her Peloton. Girl gets caught in a global pandemic and uses her Peloton as a hanger for the pretty clothes she used to wear when she used to leave her house. Guys, I just couldn't. The pandemic has been so weird to our routines, and I feel like it's just been the past couple months where I've finally felt stable and sure enough to start dipping my toe into old routines again, the ones I used to have in the before times. These days, I'm getting back on my Peloton, and I'm doing some light strength training. Well, I say light. Actually, a lot of it's not light. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm doing strength training to tone my muscles and build endurance. And I'm making sure to work out consistently on weekdays. It's really working for me right now. One thing I've become a bit more conscious of is that I have a habit of going 110% in on something before crashing really hard and taking a long time to get back in the saddle, if ever. I get so upset that I didn't reach my goal perfectly that there's part of me that thinks, what's the point? And I just don't get back to it. And when I say this out loud, it makes me want to laugh. I would never say this to a friend. Why would I say this to myself? Why would I beat myself up for not doing something perfectly? This time around, I'm trying to be really kind when it comes to moving my body. I set realistic goals for myself, but I don't beat myself up if those goals need to flex a little in real time because that's life. Also, I'll say this. Getting a puppy helps. <laughs> Every day, we take Walter on a big walk around the neighborhood to get some of his puppy energy out and help get this mama some steps in. It is so much fun. Number four, I switch to cleaner products for my home and my body. This is something I've been playing around with for a while, and lately, I've started to ramp it up even more. We've been using drops for laundry, and we just tried Thrive Market's house brand Rosie for dish soap and pods and all that. We really like them a lot. As far as makeup goes, I cannot say enough about the Ilia brand. Listen, my skin, I'm not kidding. My skin is so much better since I made the switch. You can see it on my Instagram. Ilia has dialed down the redness in my skin, especially when I don't have makeup on. I love, 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 love the whole Ilia line. But if you want to see which products are my favorite, you can find the link on my Instagram highlights called Clean. P.S. I also share the holy grail of moisturizers. If you are taking notes, just write this down. You, it is pricey, but you will love it. Your skin will thank you and it lasts forever. I've been using this for years and I first heard about it from Brene Brown, who can do no wrong. It is the Vintner's Daughter brand. I love it. It is, if I had to only use one thing, it would be that. Okay. Guys, oh my goodness, that's a lot. <laughs> this sums it up. I had a lot more to say about my wellness journey than I thought. And here's what I want to tell you as we close this one out. Wellness is a total grace, not perfection area for me. I am still figuring out what's working best for me and my family. And at any time, part of this routine could change. That is okay. I'm giving myself the grace to stumble around here and there. None of these changes happen overnight. Obviously, these are all choices I've made slowly and deliberately. It's a rate of change that feels natural and doesn't feel like it's taking a lot of effort. I think that's the surest path to sustainable change. I think that's how you keep changes in your life for a long time instead of just a season. Also, please know these are changes that worked for me, for my body, and for my family. What works for you may look completely different, and that is completely normal. If you're looking to start a wellness journey of your own, or maybe you'd like to turn the dials in a few places, it's a choice that's available to you when you're ready. Talking with a trusted healthcare provider is a pretty great way to start as well. One more thing. I've been talking about this lifestyle journey for the past few months on Instagram, and there was one comment that really stuck with me. Julie Roberts, 96, shared she's been on a similar journey to mine, and she said that she was committed to the lifestyle, not the results. Wow. Committed to the lifestyle, not the results. I think that's very wise because that perspective leaves some room for mistakes and for growth. It leaves some room for trying out a new product or putting a new practice into your routine. And it leaves room for an ice cream sundae at a friend's birthday party. Thank you for that perspective, Julie. I want to be more like you when I grow up. Oh my goodness, as we close out this very special episode, I would like to say a blessing for you as we leave this time together and get back into our days. May you receive boundless energy as you make choices for your health. May your spirit grow stronger as you fight for the strength and well-being of your body. 
and may you know that you and your body are so, so good right now, right this very minute, and that you are worthy of love and belonging just as you are today. As always, I like to leave a little tip to help you put what we've talked about today into practice, so here is your task for this week. Nutrition has a lot to do with how we're feeling. I've found that one of the easiest ways to stay conscious of how nutrition is affecting you and how you feel is to record what exactly you're putting into your body. Not in a punishing, calorie tracking kind of way, which I know can be a little triggering if you've ever struggled with disordered eating. I'm talking about journaling so you can find some connections between your energy levels and the foods you're eating. Start recording what you're eating in a notebook or the Simplified Wellness Workbook or a free app like MyFitnessPal or even just use your notes app. About an hour after your meal, pay attention to how you're feeling. Is your stomach doing somersaults? Do you feel tired or bloated? Do you feel pretty normal? Do you have more energy than you did? Setting this kind of intention around my energy has been really eye-opening, but another tool might be more helpful for you here. There are many ways up the mountain. If your tool is different than mine, leave me a comment on the Instagram post for today's episode. I would love to share that as a resource for others on their wellness journey. Thank you for listening to the Simplified Podcast. I hope today's episode met you where you are on your wellness journey and helped you think about making big and small decisions to help you feel like your best self. You can find show notes for this episode at emilylay.com slash podcast, where you can check out links and resources I mentioned here, and you can shop the Simplified brand of planners and products. Also, a huge shout out to the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences. So much of their research has been incorporated into this episode. And if you want to learn a little bit more about chronic inflammation and environmental health, go check them out. And definitely go check out Amy Migdalia's Instagram, which is chock full of practical ways you can start improving your health right now. And if you'd like to listen to the Simplified Podcast ad-free and a little bit earlier, then you should check out the premium version of our show on Apple Podcasts. Just search for the Simplified Podcast in the search bar and tap on the blue thumbnail image with the pink pineapple. You can't miss it. And don't forget to pre-order your copy of You're Always Enough and More Than I Hoped For right now wherever you buy books. Before you go, I have a quick favor to ask. If you love this show, would you go to your podcast provider and leave a review? I want more people reaching for a life that's a little bit more slow and sweet and good. And leaving a review helps your podcast provider get this show to more people who will enjoy it. If you've left a review, thank you. Please know I've read your words and taken them to heart. Until next time, thank you so much for listening. Bye.